Welcome, welcome back. It's your boy, Trouble Skills. It's season 3, part 6 of the Chelsea Criminal on FIFA 23. Today we have a big one in store today. As you can see from the fixtures, we will be quick swimming Nottingham Forest at Stamford Bridge. Then we play Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium where we lost a 2 0 lead versus them last time out. It was an embarrassing match, but hey, what can you do? Then we quick swim uh, Middlesbrough in the FA Cup, quick swim Bristol City, and then we play. West Ham United, a former club in the Premier League at Stamford Bridge. I am looking forward to that one. We've got two very big matches, of course. Look, we've got two rivalries. Obviously, West Ham, the other team I like, I did manage him. I won the Champions League with him. First criminal I ever did on channel. It's a good one. But either way, we start off by signing Mikel Olise from Wolverhampton Wanderers. The Frenchman has been linked heavily with the move to Stamford Bridge in real life. He has a release clause of, I believe, 35 million euros. So, it's a bargain for a player of this quality. I'm not surprised that a team like Chelsea are looking to sign a player of this quality. And welcome to Stamford Bridge, Michael Lise. On to the match where it's not the first. At Stamford Bridge, I'm expecting a big win. I just do expect a huge win against a team like this. And it's a 3-0 win. Lozano, Nicholas Jackson and Michaela Mudrik get all of Chelsea's three goals. Happy days. On to the match versus Arsenal. Thank you for we'll get us the press today. conference we'll underway. But it's going to be a good one as we travel to the Emirates Stadium. Look, I guess the right terminology for this match is fucking massive. This rivalry is just going to be sensational today. I'm telling you, after two all draw, after being two up at Stamford Bridge, we bottled it sincerely and severely. It was an embarrassing match, but we have a chance to bring it back. Get some dignity back, lads. How about that, yeah? But right, guys, you know what? Time. I'm weirdly us. confident about this. I have a feeling we are capable of demolishing this awful... Arsenal team, but look at team Saliba, Timber, Rice, Havitz, Captain Erdegaard, Martinelli, Jesus, Saka, Trippier, Ramsdale, Tierney. Tierney got sent off at Sanford Bridge, so this is his ch just chance to go. Here's what I'm about, lads. This is what he's going to go. I'm, what, I'm back. But as both teams, uh, both sets of fans walk into the stadium, and both teams. Drive up the ground. What will the score be? I'm interested. We all know the qualities of both teams here. Both teams are just going to be sensational. I've no doubt there's going to be a lot of hype around this match. I believe that we can be beat this Arsenal team now. We went 2 0 last time. I think we can do something similar, maybe even win 3 4. But here we go. Oh, and it's over by Enzo Fernandes. And it's a red card, I beg, please, another red, please, please, please. Ha! Fucking ha! You know. Get back on that plane to Norway, you're not good enough for Arsenal, ha ha. Now, he'd be gone back to Real Madrid, that's where we got him from. Anyway, we have another attack. Oh, what a save, and it can't stop Mouane. How can you hate this man? He's just quality. I don't think there's a player on this team I have more respect for. Honestly, the kid's well, quality. Just a take a bow, son, and that's all she wrote. Money, man. I love him, man. What a fucking goal. What a goal. Colo Moani. The boy in his second season has been doing so well. And there we go, it's Vinny Jr. Ball over top. Moani takes a shot, and it's wide. He has to be done better. It just has to be. 100%. But one thing is certain, that we are all over this Arsenal team. And it's the other call for Gabriel Jesus. Still 1-0 Chelsea, another chance here. And it's Alan St. Dino. Cuts back, and it's blocked, and it's not going to be kept out of the back of the net. As it is 2-0 to Chelsea at the Emirates. Let's just not have a repeat of what happened last time. Two up. And two all full time for an 89th minute goal by Arsenal. But beautiful football. 
just defends not being good enough by our opposition. Simple as that. And it's Anime Gure filling in the boots of uh, injured Dusan Vlahovic perfectly. Love to see it. 2 0 to Chelsea at half time. Love it. Can you argue that performance so far? I don't think you can. In fact, I know you can't. It's exactly how good it's been. We just need to keep this momentum going as this Chelsea team's just looking unstoppable currently. When well, last time we lost a match, we, we drew Newcastle, drew Arsenal. The second half is about to get underway and here we go. Straight from the offer, we are going to make a substitution. But, just got to say straight up, Arsenal looking pretty good for the opening 20 minutes of this half and it's a goal. Oh my god, 2 fucking one Not again. We can't we concede two goals again to 10-man Arsenal, can we? Surely not. This is getting out of hand. This is getting good to hand. But down the wing we go. Come on, Alan Sack Maximan. He's going to pull the ball back in and it's Mawani. And it is 3-1 full time to Chelsea at the Emirates. As Chelsea defeat Arsenal in a decent game. It's not been spectacular. Neither team has been dominant. We were dominant in first half. But second half was just, it's just been horrible so far. But that's it, really. Arsenal won't score, we probably won't score. We'll take that, though. A huge win. And it's a win that really can help us kick on from here. As we aim to become champions and quadruple winners. But, oh my god, great defend well great goalkeeper and also defending in the end but a solid block by I think it was it was on the side of centre pack oh god I forgot who it is but anyway it's going to be a good one I think it was Matthias De Ligt actually I think it was De Ligt I'm certain of it I'm very adamant but that man was on fire he's been on fire for time Fair play that to that man. How good is he? He's been on fire since he came from Frank Frank Frankfurt. Quality match. 3-1 to Chelsea as we take down Arsenal at the Emirates. On to our first quick sim of the day where we quick sim Borough in the round of 16 in the FA Cup. It's a big match. Well, biggest match. We aim to win this. It's a 3-1 win. Vinny Jr. Matisse De Ligt. Vinny Jr. So it's a brace of Vinny, a goal for Delit, and that gets us our three goals versus Middlesbrough. But Bristol City versus Chelsea, what a match this can be. Do I expect to win this? 100%. By 3-4, maybe in five goals, but we all know it won't happen. It's a 2-0 win. Lozano and Nicholas Jackson. On to the next match of the day, right, guys, where we play our former now. club, West Ham United. At the Stamford Bridge, it's going to be a a good match. Obviously, former manager returning. Probably my favorite favorite career mode I've done. I'd have to say it's best team I've created 100. percent But the Hanover, I think the Hanover the career mode, the one that I've just done, is by far my favorite. Well, not by far, but it's just edges it. I think pass with West Ham one, but. Just unreal. I, I enjoy, I've enjoyed every cream all. I'm enjoying this one. I thought that I'd find this okay, one guys, easy. It's been a we'll lot be harder than now. what I expected. I mean, I thought, right, we're going to have a good first season where we'll win the Premier League, probably undefeated. Then we move on to the Champions League next season and win it outright. We're in season three. We're one season on from where I expect to win it. But well, we I reckon we batter this uh, West Ham team. They are not exactly the richest of clubs, not exactly best of teams anyway. Just lost the best player, Declan Rice, IRL, to Arsenal. Well, they don't have anyone really apart from him. I know that they inquired about, was it Leon Goretzka who ended up rejecting them or by me ended up saying piss off he for sale? Something like that happened. I think they want to they'll go give 40 million for him. That's a huge underpayment. Anyway, what a... Oh, that is... Oh, my God. Oh, great cigar. Yep, bloody knew it. 
Oh, it's one note to West Ham at Stamford Bridge. You were having a laugh. Pavlidis. Pavlidis. No idea who he is, but he's put a goal, he's put a goal past us. Nice. Thank you very much, lads. I do appreciate that. Half time. It's just been such a dead half of football. Honestly, it's such a bloody wank game, that. Anyway, we got underway for the second half. And it's Sat Maxman down the left. He's got cut in. And it's a goal. And the wrong is on fire. But that was just a bullet, man. He's just on fire. And that celebration is outrageous. West Ham in the mud, eh? Love to see it. In, the career, in this career mode. But what a bit of play by Sam Maxman to cut it back. And what a finish by Mwani. What a finish. Love it. Absolutely stunning by the young Frenchman. He's incredible, isn't he? But two French players linking up. That's all I'm saying about this team. Incredible. Oh, great. Please defend. Fuck. 2 1 West Ham again. This is not going to point at all. What is happening, man? Defensively, we just keep on getting exposed. It's Matisse that lit. Absolute shambles. Absolute shambles. Anyway, Sat Maximon. Come on. Come on. He's got cut in. Beautiful. Beautiful. And he's got to do another man. Beautiful. And it's going to be bottom left. And it's a goal. You absolutely love to see that. I mean, how do we have that man? How do we have him? He just, it just feels like he's out of our league severely right now. And yet we're back-to-back -back Premier League champions. We're hoping to win a Champions League this season. But he's just outrageous. That's got to be a red. That's got to be a red. Come on. Get him off, ref. You know you want to. And it's a red card for... Pasalic, Mario Pasalic. Right, it's full time against ten men. It's a two-all draw. We just haven't turned up again. It's another match where we just haven't turned up. Apart from the two goals we scored, there's been no other chances. It's been embarrassing by both teams because they didn't do that, neither did we. And it's two-all full time at Stamford Bridge, Chelsea versus West Ham. On to the next match versus Bristol City in the FA Cup you know what with Gulry up front again I'm a little bit fearful we just don't have a better option right now but it's going to be a 1-0 win through Colo Moani thank God for him man he's outrageously good he just can't stop scoring I'm loving it but in other news Enzo Fernandez to Manchester City for 170 million has been accepted. Thank you very much, Pep Guardiola. Pleasure doing business. Now, lineup is a replacement in Eduardo Camavinga. Play CDM, play left back. He's just a great player, and yeah, I've been hearing that Chelsea were interested in him. Or oh, it might have been Chulmini at one of them, but I think Real Madrid want to keep Chulmini. And I think they all want to keep Camavinga, but I think if they had to let both, uh, one of them go, it would be Camavinga. That's what I've heard, but I might have gotten the wrong way around. I don't think he have, because I know Chumini is more integral. But let's just see how this goes. We have used Nicolo Barella in a career mode before. It was in the West Ham one. But the reason why I'm using this is because I just want to get this Champions League done. I dusted a plus. He's just too good of a player for me to not go, I want you. I could have bought you Bongham, but I've taken it a tone down. Because I was looking at Bongham because he's been linked to Chelsea and I'm like, I really should be doing this, but nah, I can't. Anyway, welcome to Stamford Bridge. Nicolo Barella and Eduardo Camavinga. Love to see it. We're in the day third. We've lost one game all season. But it really hasn't been good enough from us today. But we aim to kick on. We are only... Three points off top league, so I've no doubt we'll make up that margin. It's been me for now, and peace. It's been a fun one. Let's see how it ends, eh? Take care.